Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice logarithm math problem which is x to the power of rock 64 plus 4 to the power of rock x, this is equal to 10. So what is the value of x given that x is an element of real numbers? So let's provide a solution from here. So we have x to the power of rock 64 plus 4, which you can express as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of rock x this is equal to 10 now we can express 64 this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3 let's substitute this so that we have x to the power of rock 4 to the power of 3 then plus now 2 to the power of 2 multiplying by rock x this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which you can express as a to the power of n multiplying by m so here we have 2 to the power of 2 multiplying by rock x this is equal to 10 now rock 4 to the power of 3 this is in the form of rock a to the power of b which you can express as b rock a now let's apply this power rule property of logarithm so that now we have x to the power of 3 multiplied by rock 4 then plus now here we have this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 this is the same thing as 4 raised to the power of rock x this is equal to 10 now the next step from here, we have that x to the power of 3 multiplied by rock 4. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. So we have x to the power of rock 4 raised to the power of 3, then plus 4 to the power of rock x. This is equal to 10. Now, we have that a to the power of rock b. This is the same thing as b to the power of rock a. So let's apply this property here. So this means that we have that 4 to the power of rock x. This can also be expressed as x to the power of rog 4. So x raised to the power of rog 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of rog x by applying this property here. So by applying this property here, we have that x to the power of rog 4. This is the same thing as 4 to the power of rog x so here we can substitute we can substitute x to the power of rock 4 with 4 to the power of rock x so that we have 4 to the power of rock x raised to the power of 3 then plus 4 to the power of rock x this is equal to 10 so you can clearly see that we have 4 to the power of rock x is common here and that implies that we can let 4 to the power of rock x be equal to u. Substituting u, this means we have u to the power of 3 plus u. This is equal to 10. Let's take 10 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 10. This is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 10, which is minus 8 minus 2. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 8, which is 2 to the power of 3 minus 2. This is equal to 0. And this implies that we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3. So this is u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 plus u 
subtract 2, then this is equal to 0. Now, if you check this part here, this is the difference of two cubes, express as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which you can express as a minus b, multiplying by a squared plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. Therefore, we have that u to the power of 3, subtract 2 to the power of 3, this can be expressed as u minus 2, into the parentheses, this is u to the power of 2, then plus 2u, then plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Therefore, we have u minus 2, multiplied by u squared, plus 2u, plus 4, then plus u minus 2, this is equal to 0. We have that u minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out u subtract 2. Into the parentheses, this is u to the power of 2, plus 2u, plus 4, plus 1, this is equal to 0. Now this implies that we have u minus 2. Into the parentheses, this is u to the power of 2, plus 2u plus 4 plus 1, this is 5, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. Now, we have got two parts here. The first part is u minus 2, this is equal to 0. And we have u to the power of 2, plus 2u, plus 5, this is equal to 0. Now, in the first part here, we have that u is equal to 2. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and that c is equal to 5. So we can assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4ac. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that we have 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1, then times c which is 5. So 2 squared, this is 4, subtract 4 times 5, this is 20, and 4 minus 20, this is equal to minus 16, and this is less than 0. And this implies that here we have two complex roots we have two complex roots here and in other ones there is no real solution here no real solution that can be obtained from this quadratic equation so this part this quadratic equation is rejected this quadratic equation is rejected so let's focus on u which is equal to two we have u is equal to 2. If you recall, we are higher saying that let 4 to the power of log x be equal to u. Yeah? Let 4 to the power of log x be equal to u. Now let's substitute u here so that we have 4 to the power of log x this is equal to 2. Now, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. Therefore, we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of log x. Then this is equal to 2. Remember, 2 is raised to the power of 1. So, 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of log x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n, multiplied by m. So we have 2 to the power of 2, multiplied by, this is log x, this is equal to 2 to the power of 1. 
Now we have 2 to the power of 2 log x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1. The bases are common here. That is a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, exponent n is equal to m. And therefore, from what we have here, we have 2 log x. This is equal to 1. So let's divide both signs by 2. And this implies that here we have log x. This is equal to a half. Remember here, we have log x to base. This is to base 10. So remember if you have log a to base a, this is the same thing as 1. Now, let's introduce here log 10 to base 10. So log 10 to base 10 is the same thing as 1. Now, this a half becomes the power here. That means that we have log x under base 10. This is equal to log 10 to the power of a half under base 10. From here, we can simplify the log 10 here so that we have x is equal to 10 to the power of a half. All x is equal to square root of 10. So this is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Let's verify quickly. If you recall, if you recall, we end that x to the power of rog 64 plus 4 to the power of rog x. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. So let's substitute the value of x, which is 10 to the power of a half. So we have 10 to the power of a half raised to the power of rog 64, then plus 4 to the power of rog 10 to the power of a half. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. All right. Now, we can express 64. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6. So we have 10 raised to the power of a half raised to the power of rog 2 to the power of 6 then plus we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of rog 10 raised to the power of a half this should give us a value of 10. Okay. So 10 is to the power of a half raised to the power of rog 2 to the power of 6. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Now applying this property, then we have 10 to the power of a half multiplied by rog 2 to the power of 6, then plus 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by rog 10 raised to the power of a half. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. So since 6 is a power, remember rock 2 to the power of 6, this is in the form of rock a to the power of b, which can be expressed as b rock a. So applying this property, we have 10 to the power of a half times 6 rock 2, then plus here now we have 2 to the power of 2 times a half. Then we have rog 10. Remember this is rog 10 to base 10. This should give us a value of 10. Now from here we can simplify here. 6 divided by 2. This is equal to 3. So we have 10 to the power of 3 rog. 2, remember this is under base 10, then plus, now 2 and 2 here simplifies, so we have 2 to the power of rog 10 to base 10, this is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, this is the power here, so we can express this as 10 to the power of rog 
2 to the power of 3 to base 10, then plus 2 to the power of log 10 to base 10. This is the same thing as 1. So this should give us a value of 10. Now, we have that 10 to the power of log 2 to the power of 3 to base 10. This is in the form of a to the power of log b to base a, and this should give us a value of b. So applying this property, then we have 10 to the power of log 2 to the power of 3 to base 10. This is equal to 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8. And therefore, we have 8 plus 2. This should be equal to 10. And it's clear that 8 plus 2, this is 10, which is equal to 10. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this confirms that the value of x, which is 10 to the power of a half, satisfies the equation. Satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video. And please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.